Well, a very warm welcome to you on this most pleasantly clear evening. Conditions absolutely beautiful. Perfect for the beautiful game. Temperatures are kind as well. No doubt playing a hand in high attendance levels as well as an elevated level of anticipation here. Surely this is the hot ticket going around in this deck of the woods. It surely must be. This place simply a monument to the game. So much prestige, so much pride, so much passion whenever football is played here. They appear to be shaping up in a 4-4-2 formation. Reminders of a, a golden era in English football, I should add. And it continues to hold its place in the modern game. Playing a second striker runs the risk of being outnumbered in midfield, of course. So with the wider pairing and fullbacks, plenty of running has to be part of their play. And, of course, the right service into the box. So it's down to business here. Jim, you've played in games of this nature. Who can make the difference? I'm going to go for the experienced Igor Akinfeyev. He's always been an agile stopper, but having been on the scene from... From such a young age, he's a much calmer decision-maker these days. Well, he would be the obvious choice, wouldn't he? He certainly has all the right qualities. Could be thinking about a shot here. off target and by quite a way Magnuson get it forward quickly well, needless to say he was expecting a better ball than that forward it goes Ural are seeing more of the ball, but still aren't carrying much goal threat. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Battles to win it back. And it's played forward. Vlasic. Oh, oh the whistle's gone, what's he given? No, the referee's judged that the offence took place outside the area. Well, it was deliberate, it was cynical, and you have to understand the frustration of, of being denied a clear opportunity, but it had to be done. He's gone for it! It's anyone's ball! Chance! Leave it clear. I'm going to throw in. Vlasic. Real chance. A oh, great save. Real 
world class. Well, as Tesco, Peter, the keeper has just received an A plus grade. Last ditch defending, but that'll do. First half is done, so now the team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goalless. How would you review the first half? Well, Peter, apart from the lack of goals, I really don't think there's there's much to criticise. They've got to keep doing what they've been doing, and eventually they should find a way to the back of the net. Here's hoping for them. Interesting half, just missing goals, so don't be surprised if the second half brings a change to the scoreline at the break. Whistle's gone, that's a foul. Ball's loose, who's getting there? Hoists it forward. Put it on the right now, what's on? Gorgeous control there. Played into the middle. It's a brilliant interception. And it's played forward. Well, that's where he wants it. Not long left, and still we await the breakthrough. Vlasic. The balls come loose. Forward it goes. on the right flank now what's next he's got options out wide he has it out wide now foot in look this can still go either way it might be flowing one way but there's still time for some ebb out to the right Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. They seem to have lost their sense of direction. Uh, it should be higher up the pitch. And helps available out wide. Referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle. Well, it looked nil-nil from a fair way out. Little craft or guile or penetration. Defence is largely untroubled. It's goals. How do you look back on the game then, Jim?